Yeah, the back of your head looks good. Thank you. It was, uh, it was Gillette. Gillette. <laughs> Two days ago. Oh. Two days ago. Oh, yeah. that's no congrats on Thank your five you. hour shout out. I am a Chia pet. Chia pet. Yeah. I caught you perfectly on your goal zone. Did you? Yeah. So well, like, can I see you later? I'll put it up on Instagram. I'm like, I'm really? Oh, cool. Thank you. Just tweet it out too. On the like gram. On the gram, yeah. On the gram. It's my move. Thanks for that idea. I'm going to do it now in every photo shoot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Buying more complex shoes, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. But um, Stella McCartney has some really good vegan shoes that are uh, platform. So who can afford that, man? Yeah. We're, listen, yeah. Alex and I were saying this okay. earlier, but if you guys don't jump in, we will. We can peanut gallery ourselves yeah. into oblivion. Um, so we'll stop talking. So that fall, the house of Ashida. When's that coming? Oh, well, the heat is off. <laughs> Some defense from you. That's pretty spoilery. Yeah, it is. We're getting to the end of the season, so yeah. uh, who knows? Will they continue? Will the foe fall in favor of the new one for season four? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How do you rectify it, though? Like, it, it, I, Rio either has to die or stay on the planet and thrive with his <laughs> empire. I, just, I, I don't know. Well, I, they kind of hinted he might come back to the Raza. Isn't that door open still? I want it to be because I want to continue working with these uh, fine folks. How many times will you rip our hearts out, though, Rio? <laughs> How many times can I take you back? Mi <laughs> amor. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, left I, feel like, I feel like there are solutions yeah. outside of the two that you offered. Like, what if we decided, what if we somehow infiltrated and, like, wiped your mind again and, and made you a orphan? Black. Ah, uh, good thing I'm not writing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I hope soon. Are you asking because you're looking forward to Rio becoming four again? Of course. Yeah. Oh. I feel like everyone's kind of got that bent, you know, and that's a part of the way you designed your take on that character. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I wanted to have the fans really hate Rio, right? Because he is just uh, he's merciless. He's impetuous. And. I was saying earlier, that it's it's funny now that he has his memories. You know, you think he'd have more confidence in his decisions and his ability to trust people. But on the contrary, you know, he puts he puts his t uh, set of people together, and he still doesn't know what to do. And he's still constantly questioning Teku, constantly questioning Masai. What should I do? But it's just like you, know, you have your memories, you know, just figure something out. But end of the day, I wanted the fans to hate Rio enough so that they would miss. And to be honest, I just want to be four again so I could throw a kick, throw a punch or something. Because right now I'm tired of throwing fingers. And that's all he does. Yeah, how difficult has it been being sort of separated from the rest of the cast a lot of the time that you spent all this time with people? It's, 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 it was the hardest part of the season, shooting uh, away from them. Because they are my family. I spend more time with them more than anyone between the cast and the crew and and I just I love the vibe around them. There's so much love, there's so much peace, there's so much And you contribute to that vibe. So we really missed yeah. him too. Yeah, it felt like we had lost a crew member. Like we, we did in the story and we also yeah. did on set. It, it was a it was a big loss. So hopefully we all get to reunite a little bit. And even when we did get to reunite you were like wearing weird robes and stuff. So <laughs> to be comfortable. Yeah to be to exude comfort and confidence yeah. somehow, yeah. and I decided on a rope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's tough. I was I was shooting in a totally different city too at that, and um, had the baby. So what they did was uh, they would shoot like four or five episodes worth of work in a week, and so that just fried my brain. Um, you block well. shooting? I was block shooting, yeah. yeah. Right. There was one day where I had like 20 or 30 pages of dialogue. Across different episodes? Across different episodes. Wow. So it was just... It was, it was really weird. It yeah, was, that's nuts. Yeah, it was so tough. <laughs> well, don't you miss the bromance a little bit? I mean, we felt like I there do. was a lot of that <laughs> in the first so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Listen, Anthony, especially, 
and Melissa can attest to this, his conversations, and he's always playing the devil's advocate in any debate, and we debate a lot on set. We're, we're very... Yeah, he's talking about off-camera. We, yeah. we, it's a very... The cast is undeniably committed to engaging in discourse and current events, and Anthony usually will play devil's advocate because he's good at it, but like we, we're constantly interested in engaging with each other and getting each other's opinions about what's up and what's going on, and what do you think about that? Well, I don't agree with you, or maybe I do, but you can't tell because we're just talking about it. You know, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Wait, you've disagreed with me? Constantly. You just can't tell. No. No. Well, I was thinking more along the lines of the show itself. I mean, okay. it seemed like there was something going on with four and three as far as, you know, just having a camaraderie. And they would look to each other as, as strong men in these difficult situations. Particularly yeah. as they didn't always have their memories to rely on. So they is had to. Three is a strong man that gets his ass whooped <laughs> all the time. Don't harass uh, this. Oh, no, I'm just trying to egg him on. <laughs> See, there's that bromance coming again. Um, I didn't know you guys. I didn't. I always felt like the bromance was between three and one. That was a serious on camera bromance. Yeah. yeah. Three and one. You're just six but when and you three. were on the when, when four was on the ship, he was just like silent and moody. No, there was that nod. They nod each other. You're like, yeah, okay, you got right? back. <laughs> uh, cool. I feel like Misaki has just been pulling the wool over Ryo's eyes. Is he gonna really read into her BS eventually? Like, I really want him to like catch up on something. <laughs> I don't even know why he took her back. Oh my at this gosh, point, no. like, I, you killed the only woman that ever showed me love, and and then and then I take you back for what reason? I don't know, but. Um, is he gonna fall for her BS? Right now, she's been very, not convincing, but she's been very aggressive with her opinions, and it doesn't help that Teku's guidance has been failing me through proof of, lack of proof of concept. You know, you gotta care about the people, you gotta care about the spiritual center of Zaharan, and, and literally all that is just, it's not working out. Meanwhile, here's Misaki saying, hey, you gotta go and be that old Rio that I know and just slice some heads. And I think right now, like, she is the only opinion that I have yet to act upon. And I think that's where it's happening right now. So will he fall for that BS? It's one of those things where you just kind of do it in by now. Uh, it's like, he's like, where's Thor at this moment? That's questioning everything. It's kind of like... And it's there. That and that's, that's, the reason, that's the reason why he's still keeping Teku, right? I, I think, anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's why he's keeping Teku, because otherwise he would have just been as ruthless as Portia. Yeah. You know, he would have... He would have gone out there. He would have been front line with his men. But yet he's there behind the desk trying to strategize, trying to do this, trying to do that. But um, I think that's the piece of four that's there. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that effectively enough. Yeah. You know, because it's it's one of those like it's coming. Yeah. It's really really coming. Thanks for the hint. Yeah. I like your T-shirt. Thank have you. Seen that one? Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're have you not seen that? Still, no, I yeah. want that. Yeah, I know. It's a dope shirt. That's dope. Shirt. It's a dope shirt. Oh, okay. Bubba. See, I think uh, Bubba should belong to five now. Yeah, it's one of those, right? Good. Yeah. I know. We need to put like the arrow or something. What were you Two trying bucks. to say? Oh, no, I was going to ask you. You've got some physical surprises uh, with the abilities that we don't know much about yet. Where are you hoping they take that? Um, we're actually going to have a pretty big revelation as, as we wind down season three. You know, I, I feel like two's origin story is this rabbit hole situation where you think you've hit the bottom and then there's a whole other another chamber that's underneath it. And we've got a massive revelation that's going to be coming up, and then and that leads into near the very end of the season um, a big secret that betrays something about two physical body that I'm not sure anyone would have assumed was possible. So I, I, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I, I'm interested to see how that's going to go and how the fans react to it, but uh, as for what I wish to see where they're going to take it, I'm too preoccupied trying to figure out where they're going to take what they've got planned to have my own wishes about it, but uh, to, to be terribly vague in that spoilery fashion, that's kind of the only way I can answer that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're 
heroes are told that um, we're going to get some story between the android and two, as far as their backstory mm. and their dynamic. And that's been kind of interesting this season. It seems like she trusts the android so much when perhaps maybe she should. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I feel it's so interesting. All the times that we've seen the alt twos or the alt androids, most people aren't really conscious to witness the hijinks that she gets up to. So, yeah, I feel like sometimes our trust is maybe perhaps irresponsibly placed upon this faulty being. Um, That's a great way to put that. Yeah, but... Uh, there is that's that's a part of the rabbit hole origin story. Yet, yeah, whose origin story is linked, or rather, their both of their origin stories are linked in a way that I I don't think anyone's gonna see coming. It's kind of a chicken egg situation. What do you like about playing two versus how you like playing Porsche? Like, because you're doing both this season a lot more than you did last season. So how do you? Like, how do you feel about playing both roles like around the same time? Are we even going to see a fight between two portions? <laughs> I would love that. I know. Uh, the girl who stuck doubles too, we're so, we're really like keeping our fingers crossed because that would be so much fun to do uh, is to fight each other. Uh, I love playing Portia. I think she's a blast. She's such a stark contrast to who two is or, or how she's represented. And the way they think is different, the way they walk is different, the way they talk is different. Um, and despite them having the same face, we have the same face as them, um, I really feel like they're two completely different characters. And they are. They come from the same original place, but the path from how they got onto the Raza is, is completely divergent. Like, they, they have completely different arcs. And, you know, if I have a hope for two in any way, like, it would definitely be to see what Portia's story is, how she got from outside of that medical facility to on the Raza and taking it over even. I think that'd be neat. Yeah, she's a fun character to play. She's really fun and gross. You usually need to shower afterwards, but, but really fun. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.